If you're just joining us on The Full View, we are live from Qibekha in the Eastern Cape and we're dealing with this crisis, the water crisis, the water scarcity crisis currently ongoing in the region. We spoke to community members and we spoke to the municipality. And while accountability is important in resolving issues like this, public and private partnerships are also very, very important. Coca-Cola Beverages South Africa has partnered with us on this broadcast, but it's also announced that it is working with the Nelson Mandela Bay municipality and other stakeholders, including Gift of the Givers, to try and assist the vulnerable and distressed communities. And to tell us more about their plans and interventions is uh, Trina Slavisa, who is the Public Affairs, Communications and Sust Sustainability Operations Manager at Coca-Cola Beverages South Africa. Trina, good evening to you. Thank you very much for being with us. Why are you helping? Good evening, good evening Iman. Thank you for having us. I think as a business, um, we're very clear. We cannot succeed in a failing society. And as a business, we've taken a responsibility to make sure that we complement and support the interventions that um, the government is implementing to make sure that we're able to avert um, day zero. So as a responsible uh, corporate citizen, we have taken it on our shoulders to make sure that we intervene and step in where government has been unable to do so. And we believe that when we work together as different par part of civil society, we can be able to minimize the impact, particularly on the most vulnerable, vulnerable part of our society. And you're doing a lot of things uh, like donating water storage tanks. And I'd, I'd like for you to share with us how many of these water storage tanks you have donated and where they are going. With regards to our interventions that are targeted towards um, communities, um, we've donated about um, uh, 25,000 litre tanks um, that were working together with our partners, Gift of the Givers, to deploy in communities um, that are going to be wesley be affected uh, by the current challenges of water supply that we're experiencing. Um, we're also looking at deploying our water tankers uh, to help with the challenges, for instance, uh, communities in Motherwell are experiencing protracted uh, water disruption. We are using our 35,000 litre tanker to distribute water um, into those communities. Uh, this is one of the interventions that we are putting out as a business to make sure that we, we support a uh, community. And as I've indicated before, our business is also dependent on water supply. So it's, this is one area that we are so much interested into. And we are also working with the municipality as well to make sure that whatever we put in place, it provides sustainable water supply to our communities. I mean, you, you would have witnessed a cleaner, you know, hard conversation being held with um, the water director of the Nelson uh, Mandela Bay municipality. You're talking about this partnership. How do you, you get around, you know, some of the, the criticisms of the public that they've been slow to act? In a sense, you're picking up the slack where, it, you know, where it's, things have been left to deteriorate. How, how, do you, how do you manage that partnership? Um, really, it's understandable what why communities may not have that confidence um, in our authorities. Uh, but I must indicate, um, when we started rolling out um, the Cogville system, which is an underground water harvesting system, uh, at the beginning of June, we were able to collaborate um, with the municipality to roll out the, 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 those systems. We've been able to fully commission about four systems uh, in Walma, uh, another four systems are being uh, developed in Kairecha. There's one that we're going to fully commission um, in Walma before the end of this week. And with these systems combined, we will be able to supply about 92 million liters of water per annum to these communities. And these are the sustainable systems that would allow the community to access water, clean water, um, that um, it, it, they can be able to use for, for their daily uh, uh, water requirements. And also, it's absolutely free. Uh, this is our contribution um, to the community. And we've uh, introduced this particular program throughout South Africa since 2020. And since the inception of the program, we've been able to um, supply about 200 million liters uh, of water. And we've seen this intervention creating uh, opportunities for community to start up uh, uh, food gardens and so forth. 
And I think that's a really important thing when you touch on the sustainability. It's always good when big business partners or comes in to assist, both uh, you know, government offices or communities. But skills transfer and leaving something behind for people to do on their own or to, to, to replicate is a really, really important thing in terms of ensuring we do our ESG. Yeah. How, what would you say is the model that Coca-Cola Beverages South Africa is employing to do just that work? From our side, uh, one thing that we've picked up is that um, it doesn't really matter what we are trying to do. Every single intervention that we put forward, it must get 100% buy-in from the community. And for instance, in Mualma, we're working with what communities to execute these systems. And these are quite expensive systems to have a solar that is being installed, and communities are taking responsibility to guard and protect those systems and make sure that even when it comes to uh, the installation, we're also using uh, communities to help to undertake certain activities that can be able to be uh, um, subcontracted to, to local people. And what we've realized is that this is giving people, firstly, uh, an opportunity to access uh, income, but also to begin to build the critical skills that we need that will support also the municipality when it comes to the management of our water resource as well as infrastructure. I mean, they say, you know, there's nothing as powerful as giving someone a fishing rod rather than a fish. And I think Absolutely. that's what you're aiming for. Let's talk then, I mean, how difficult was it to respond on a practical level? And the reason I'm asking that question is because when we, we look at the inertia in many ways, uh, despite Joseph's uh, protestations and, and also sharing some of the work that is going on, you get the sense that it takes governments a long time to do things that for the private sector and for civil society seem to be done quite quickly. Yeah, I think um, since June we have seen a step change in how the municipality has been responding to the challenges that are related um, to water, and w w we should really applaud them for that. However, we need to sustain this level of activity and collaboration to be able to completely avoid the challenge that we're facing of, of, of day zero. And I truly believe that with the collaboration uh, between ourselves, uh, the NGO sector, and also really pushing to see these changes that we want to see when it comes to the manner in which um, the municipality has been responding to some of the challenges will really help to build the systems and uh, the structures that we need to accelerate execution. You know, we've got about a minute left and, and what I really want to touch on next is you're one of many uh, you know, big private sector companies um, that are lending a hand, that are putting their shoulder to the wheel. Um, you know, what would you say to, to other corporates for your uh, operations, water is a vital ingredient. It's in your interest to do that work collaboratively with the community. What is the challenge to other businesses in the area? I think from our side, um, we cannot sit and watch when Rome is banned. We need to come in and contribute. And we would like to encourage other businesses, not only to put in financial resources, but there's a lot of technical capability and capacity that exist within the, uh, the private sector that we can be able to then uh, work together and leverage that to support uh, the municipality to execute some of the complex uh, projects that um, they are planning to execute and some of which they are already uh, in progress in terms of executing them. Trina Shlabisa, thank you very much for just giving us a, you know, giving us a sense of the work that you're doing and particularly in terms of sustainability and leaving something for the community in the long term. Um, I think that's a, that's a project to watch uh, and, and to keep an eye on. Thank you very much for talking to us this evening. Klina Labisa is um, the Public Affairs, Communications and Sustainability Operations Manager at Coca-Cola Beverages South Africa. We are live here in Tabecha in the Eastern Cape. We're talking to the community, we're talking to the municipality, we've spoken to big business. When we come back, we will also bring in civil society and talk about uh, the impact that their work is having. We'll be in conversation with the gift of the givers as well. That's all coming up just now.